What is up fellow cynics in this video? I'm going to be showing you guys how to use your Canon camera to live stream on Twitch and YouTube and other sources and all you're going to need is a simple cord and some easy software to download. Let's get started. Okay. So if any of you guys are like me, you have been using your webcam to live stream, but you have a nice Canon camera that you wish you could use to live stream but that would require some sort of capture card, which may cost you three or $400, and it's just not worth it. Luckily, Canon came out with some software recently that you can download that basically turns your Canon camera into a webcam, and really all you have to do is download the software and then use a USB Type-C or a micro USB cord, depending on how new your camera is, which is an extremely nice feature to have, and a lot of people have been waiting for something similar to this, for a really long time. It is still in beta, so it doesn't necessarily work with every software, or you can probably expect some bugs. But from what I've used of it so far, it seems to work pretty nicely. And it is also only supported for certain Canon cameras. I will pop up the list of what they support currently. They may add more in the future, I'm not really sure. So here's the list of the cameras that are supported. So it is a pretty nice amount of cameras. And in this particular video, I'm going to be using my Canon M50 in order to demo this for you guys. Like I said, I specifically use this for live streaming on YouTube, so I am going to link it through OBS, but it should link up fine for really any service that you're using to live stream. But without wasting too much time, let's jump over to the tutorial. So there is actually a couple ways to get to this EOS utility beta in order to download it. The first one is just going right to their website, which is usa.canon.com. Otherwise, you do also have the option to use my link down below in the description. That's going to actually take you right to the page where it shows every single camera that's supported. And it's also going to show you some instructions on how to download and install the software. But if you just want to start from the main page of the website here, you're going to go to support, software and drivers. And then this is actually gonna pop up a search tool and then you can actually just search for your camera. So I'm gonna type in EOS M50, pops up right here. Once you click on that, it's gonna take you to basically all the information and drivers and downloads, manuals, all that stuff for your specific camera. And then if you actually scroll down, it's gonna be on software. And then it should be the fourth option down right here. You're gonna see EOS webcam utility beta. You're just gonna hit select over on the right side and download. Once you hit download, it will pop up once again, a instruction sheet basically showing you how to finish up the download. But it's gonna download a zip file here that you can just open up. And then once you're here, you just double click it. That's gonna open up the installation for the beta. Now I do already have mine downloaded. So it's only giving me the option to remove or repair it, but you are gonna see an option to just download and install. And once it is installed, you're gonna hit finish. And for the worst part about it, you will have to restart your computer in order to use the software. Yes, I know, it's annoying. Go ahead and give your computer the old reboot and I will see you guys in a second. One minute, 37 seconds later. All right, everyone, welcome back. So the next step is an easy one. You're gonna take your camera and you're gonna open up the flap on the side and figure out what kind of cord you're gonna need. I'm sure some people already know. So mine's a micro USB. I'm using an M50, it's a little bit older. That is why I have my micro USB cord right here. All you're gonna do is plug this into a USB port on your computer. And then before we plug the camera in or turn it on or anything, you're gonna to wanna to make sure it is set to movie mode, which on mine, it is a little picture of a video camera. And once it's set to that, feel free to turn on the camera. And all you gotta do is plug it in. You're gonna see on the bottom right, it popped up Canon EOS M50. That means your computer is now detecting that the camera is plugged into it. Now, once you have all that going, you can now open up OBS if you haven't had it open already. And then you're gonna go down to sources here. You're gonna hit the plus sign. OBS is the most popular software to use while streaming, so most of you are probably already familiar with it, so I'm not gonna go into detail on much on that. So you're gonna pick a video capture device, and then under create new, you can name it whatever you want. I'll name mine M50, hit okay. And then right here, you're gonna see device. 
So right now it's set to my webcam, as you can see. But if you drop it down, you will now see the EOS webcam utility beta. I'm gonna click right on that and hit okay. And there it is. It is now popped up on here. Let me blow this one up here real quick. So yeah, guys, it is as easy as that to get that going now, thanks to the Canon software that they added. And since it is an OBS now, you can even add filters if you want to change the coloring or anything. Now guys, one thing to remember with this is you are using it through a type C or a micro USB cord. So you might experience some sort of frame drop if you're moving around and stuff like that. But if you're just using it to make a live stream camera look better or even just using it for like zoom or something like that this is going to be a great option without having to spend a ton of money on a capture card or a cam link so here's actually an example of what it's going to look like on an actual streaming layout so i shrank it down put it in my little border here so overall once again you're getting a little bit of a frame drop type of deal uh because you're not actually getting a 1080p 60 frames that you might get out of let's say a webcam but it's everything else with the camera and the lenses that you're using that make it look nicer either way so you don't really need the 60 frames or the 1080 that you're getting from the webcam when you're gonna just naturally have a better picture out of a real canon camera but yeah when you have a game going on the screen and you're just talking and kind of just sitting there playing games it's really not gonna affect much with the whole motion blur that's going on. So overall, I do think it is still a better option overall for everyone. Other than that, I have noticed a little bit of a delay also in the talking. You might be able to see it on camera right now. There's a slight delay from the audio to the video, which once again, once your video is actually tiny and you're on a streaming page or you're just using it, like I said, as a conference call on Zoom or something, it's really not gonna be noticeable. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope I was able to help you guys out. If I did, drop this a big old thumbs up down below. And of course, if you have any questions whatsoever, drop them down in the comment section down below. I will make sure to get back to you in a timely manner. And if you would like to see more content like this, feel free to go check out our page. We make videos every Monday and Friday. And then on Wednesdays, we do live stream from 9 p.m. to typically 11 p.m. Sometimes it goes a little bit later. Feel free to drop in on that. We love when our fans are joining in on the chat, it makes it fun for us. And we're kind of just there to hang out and have a good time. Other than that, make sure to subscribe if you have not already. And of course, remember, if you wanna see anything from tech, games, movies, to literally anything nerdy in between, make sure to subscribe to Digital Cynics. Peace.